Israeli minister says doctors should be allowed to refuse LGBT patients. On December 25th, in wow. a radio interview. Yep. Wow. What? Yeah. Okay. It Ladies and gentlemen, we have lost Israel. We have officially lost Israel. But go on. Okay. Well, well, let me get into it. On December 5th, in a radio interview, Israeli politician and incoming minister, so she's technically not yet, but she will be, Orit uh, Struk, suggested that Israeli doctors should be allowed to refuse treatment to LGBTQ patients. Struck representative of a religious Zionist party, said that her party is in favor of an amendment to an anti-discrimination law. I love amendments and exceptions to anti-discrimination laws um, that would allow service providers to deny their services if their religious beliefs were violated. Netanyahu, prime minister of Israel, has deemed Struck's remar remarks, quote unquote, unacceptable. He has denied that his newly formed government, which includes Strzok's party, will cause any problems for the LGBTQ community. After receiving backlash for her comments, she tweeted that she had been referring to the types of medical procedures that would be religiously questionable, not explicitly targeting the, targeting the LGBT community. Executive Director of Jerusalem Open House for Pride and Tolerance, Alon uh, Shakar, stated, quote, if these ideas materialize and become reality and deeds, they will not affect only the gay community, but all of Israeli society. Really going backwards fast with Israel with this new election. Like secularism and democracy itself is now at risk in Israel. Uh, and Israel is at, being added to a whole bunch of other countries that is going full on far right in the in past in in 2022. We lost a couple of countries. We lost like uh, Italy, Sweden, and worst of them all, Israel. And Israel is actually very significant because Israel has a, a, too much of an impact on U.S. foreign policy, right? So this is really unfortunate. Like this is Israel was supposed to be the place in the Middle East where you could point to as where a place where secularism and LGBT rights and a functioning democracy is actually capable of happening, right? But again, like, guys, this is what I'm telling This is why I keep saying, telling to you, um, religion is a major threat right now. Like, we're, we're in a point in history right now that we could either go full on liberal and take make liberalism and uh, world international um, norms and orders to take place in a way that everything we continue in the same path that we have started that we started ever since World War Two, um, or we could go the other way, right? So making sure that the liberals, the liberal powers have the upper hand is at this point in history, very, very important. Okay very very important because this is this is the time this is the moment where we look back at and see which which direction we went okay this is why crushing putin was very important as well right um so we can't we can't afford to make a mistake and the main force the main force right now that is threatening that is religion okay is the main force that is like threatening whether or not we go in the direction when it comes to especially United States and now Israel is religion. So atheist and secular activism right now is more important than ever. And it's getting the least amount of attention than ever. Like atheist activism and anti-religion activism got a major boost after 9-11. But right now it's not getting as much attention, even though we need it the most. Like 9-11 was not right now the foundations of democracy are being challenged this is a, 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 okay i don't want to compare because people might get the wrong opinion wrong understanding of what i'm saying but his but i'm saying the future of everything is at uh, is right now at question okay so um anyways israel is going down um the drain i just hope that we need to get more involved with um, atheists and secular activists in Israel. I don't know how, I don't know when, I don't know if anyone is there is interested, but you, I have gotten messages from some atheists in Israel 
and they t they're telling they're showing me the laws that they're about, they're passing that they're about to pass and they're saying that this is completely I, I don't know if this is an exaggeration or not but their arguments is that this is this would be the end of democracy in Israel so I would oh like to God. have yeah anything in particular yeah. makes you say the end of democracy well I don't I, I I I do want to fact check this before I talk about it, right? I do think like liberals um we we I have to analyze it. I don't want to make any claims here. But that's I, that's why I said I didn't say that's what's happening. I said this mm -hmm. is what they're claiming, right? But they showed me the laws that they're passing. I don't know if they passed or they're trying to pass, but it basically uh tips all every everything within, you know, the school system, the military, um, the rights, the way elections are done, everything, everything in a way that the right-leaning people will always have the upper hand going forward, right? Oh, my God. So we got a super chat by Veru and says, looks like Armin gave up on India already. What makes you say that? Yeah, Actually, I, I've constantly said that India's long-term future seems bright. No, but India's thank you for the super chat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you for the super chat. No, I'm actually, I do think India's economy will save it from going full on right wing. I don't, I don't know, like longer term, short term doesn't look good. But India, India is another good example of why right leaning uh, fascism I, yeah. is, is, a, is a major threat to democracy. So yeah, actually that's a good reminder. India is a great example. Yeah, so India, like um, uh, far right religious extremism is a threat right now in India, um, is a threat right now in the United States is a major threat right now in Israel and yeah it's a threat in Russia so the only the only major country right now that fascism is a major threat but it's not because of religion is China but most other places where liberalism is being challenged is either because of religion or religion has a major role so that's it um silva just celebrated his 13 month membership by saying happy new year thank you so much silva get my best selling book why there is no god for free click on the link for it in the description